Hi, Ken from MakeTech here. In this video, we're going to have a look at a solution that is far superior to the standard brass threaded inserts that are heat inserted. So let's check it out. What led us to find this solution was working with WageLock, developing a product for them. It's Hugo. Here's some renders and a video recorded at uh, MakeTech on the robotic camera system. We found the standard brass threaded inserts that we used on the VESA mount were actually slipping and even pulling out when the unit was mounted on the VESA mount stands. So the solution we ended up with was using what's called nut certs or riv nuts. So normally they would be inserted like a pop rivet so that the back clamps down over the uh, other side of the surface after you put it in like a pop rivet and we've repurposed them basically so they just press in and they have to be pressed in pretty hard or that's at least how we've been using them and then I've used a little bit of professional super glue as well which actually helps it go in acting kind of like lubricant and then locking it in place as well but to be honest they're actually they go in so tight that it holds pretty well even without the glue but for these uh, demonstration we're using with the glue. Okay, so having said that, how much better is it? Well, I've done a test and let's have a look at the performance analysis. I'll quickly describe what's going on in this test here. Basically, we've got a cheap cordless drill that I've used. I've increased the clutch setting to see how much torque it takes to make each insert slip and so we've got five of each and then I can compare the average of those so we can get a pretty good idea of how much better the nut certs are than the brass inserts. However, there's something else to mention is the brass thread inserts seem to, when they slip, will not let the screw back out and that was one of the reasons why we investigated this because we had brass thread inserts that were, uh, we couldn't unscrew the screws after they were over tightened. So, that is very repeatable in my experience, although I haven't heard anyone else talk about it, which is quite strange to be honest. But uh, yeah, the nut certs don't have that issue. They never seem to uh, lock in the screw. And especially if you were to put the nut cert in so that the lip was on the inside and then you're screwing it so that it's tightening the lip against the face so the screw's coming in from the other side, obviously that's gonna tighten it up better. And I believe that uh, it helps it even more to unscrew the screw afterwards um, but uh, yeah in this example I've tried to have a more fair comparison and put the lip on the outside and screw in onto the lip side okay let's have a look at the results basically the average shows us we've got about a 30% increase in the holding rotational torque on the nut certs compared to the brass threaded inserts which is fairly significant and yeah obviously with that additional benefit of when they do slip they're not stuck in there that's a really useful upgrade and yeah as I said if you have the lip going on the inside then uh, you can tighten it up really hard and it's not going to slip so uh, that's something else to consider as well another advantage there tools and method. So the tools for this one, I'll start off with the tool I designed. It's got some pretty fancy CAD on there. I'll share the link for that if anyone's interested. Basically the way that works is it's got dual functionality, one being that it can pull a nut cert in from the other side. If you uh, put the nut cert in one side and then screw through from the other side, you can pull it through. The downside is that it has a very short life expectancy from what we found. It's actually not really the ideal tool for the job because even with a high tensile M4 screw, the thread will wear out very quickly and you can end up with the tool stuck in the nuts uh, in, the, um, in the part that you're working on, which is not ideal. But it does have the other functionality of being able to pull out a brass thread insert very nicely if you want to upgrade your part from having brass inserts to nut certs, you can do that quite easily by pulling them out with that tool that I made and then using the other tool that I'm going to talk about is a nut cert tool. <laughs> um, so yeah, nut cert tool, 
They range in price from about 50 to 300 Australian dollars, and you can get them on Element 14. Look at this one on Element 14, $15, works quite well. You just have to consider that if you want to use this, you have to probably buy the tool first and then make sure that it will reach through the holes in your design to the nutsert because they're traditionally not designed to work that way, but they do work that way quite efficiently. So you put the nutsert in one side, go in with the tool in the other side, screw in a little bit, clamp it in and it'll pull it through. So that works quite well. Other than that you can use a press or a vise or a broaching tool. Uh, I would not recommend percussively hitting it in with a hammer. That's uh, yeah, the amount of force required to get it in nice and nice and straight and yeah, not not ideal. And highly do recommend using professional super glue uh, all the way around the base as you go and then a little bit if you can do it just enough so that you get it under the lip as well it seems to hold very well. Summary. In my opinion the nut certs are far superior to the brass threaded inserts so if you're making products with brass threaded inserts you should definitely consider having a look at using the nut cert alternative and there's other considerations as well so in a maker space you might have people using a soldering iron to insert these so the standard operating procedure they'll have to sign off on will be you know have the safety issues of them maybe getting burnt by the soldering iron etc etc and, and you know you worry about insurance and yeah, test and tag on another electrical device and you have to have that workstation have power near it so if you can eliminate a few of those things by just using the nut certs, that's that's a few. That's a win-win-win. Basically, um, they are a little bit more expensive, but not that much more. Maybe uh, twice the price or something. And there's something else to look at is brass threaded inserts that do have flanges and. Um, yeah, maybe they'll perform better. I haven't tested them, but yeah, there's plenty of different products out there to test. And maybe we'll investigate that in more videos if people are interested. So if you found that useful or entertaining, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, bye.